Okay, I got the loops out here to see the damage I did to the tool when I chattered it. Okay, down here. What's going on here? Okay, that's working good. Now, the tool here, this is a tool I fabricated, breathed a piece of carbide in there, and when it chattered, it just chipped the, the very tip of it. And uh, I, I finished punching the hole by slowing the machine down to 500 RPM and it, and it just punched on through. Whoa. Left, I don't even see it, a little bit of a ragged hole there. So what I'm going to do is uh, go ahead and grind this back. Now, I have a very tiny radius on there uh, between a uh, five thousandths and ten thousandths radius, and I do that by hand. It's just so tiny. But when I generally use it, this. Um, it's a very shallow depth of cut, and um, it, uh, I was planning on a thousandths and a half depth of cut, and when it chattered, it was three thousandths, and that happened because the increased uh, rake I have on the tool. So this tool is uh, special for uh, finish work at, at uh, minimum depths of cut at high spindle speeds. Okay, I'm gonna get it over here and grind it. Let's see what we got here. Okay, I got this uh, um, old uh, tool post set up here and I can uh, um, Easily, where's that uh, tool? Oh, it's right here. See, I can grind uh, lead tool bits. See, so just drop that in there. All kinds of stuff. So, I'm going to uh, grind this in there, just like that. Lock it in. And uh, this is the, I don't know what's a good spot for you to be. Maybe right there. Let's see, let's try right here. <laughs> oh, I don't know if you can really see it very good. Squeeze you around here, you can see the tip of the tool, maybe. Okay, I'm gonna fire it up. <laughs> Very good right here. I'll tell you what, I'm going to get out of the back so I can make the water easier. Just a whole lot easier it is. Get a little bit of a post there. 
Okay, I'm going to hand put the radius in there. Ooh, shaves at the thumbnail. Mm, mm. Very, very sharp. Okay, I'll put the radius in. Maybe I'll... Okay, it's very difficult to do uh, machine radiuses. So I do it by hand, and uh, I, I use an easy lap. And uh, I just got that out of the grinder. I'm going to go across the top here with it. I'll get some more light over right here. Okay, now I'm going to start working that radius in. And you can feel it. So I'm I'm machine grinding this tool, but the actual cutting, because I'm going such a, a shallow depth, is on this hand-shaped radius that is between uh, generally five and ten thousandths. And I, I've gotten by without an optical uh, comparator by just using the simplest things, like uh, an SPI magnifier. Can you see the little grid in there? Got a little grid. Ooh. And it's got some dots in there, and I can check carefully <laughs> and see where I'm getting on the radius on this tip okay just starting to see a line there and I'm gonna go both ways with it and you can kind of feel the drag this is a, a thing that is totally by feel. And you have to practice at it. Now I've used Cincinnati monosets and the OK uh, radius grinders and stuff like that. And it's very difficult to set one up for such a small <laughs> radius, I guarantee it. It's just easier to do it like this. But the machine grinding has a, has a huge advantage of uh, being able to uh, change all these angles at any time as needed for the, for the material. I don't know if you can see any, much of any of that that I'm doing, but I'm working that radius here. Then I can keep checking it with this, okay? And plus, I've, I've got these loops on, okay? Really helps. Okay, I want to get this back over. It's looking good. I'm going to get it back over and uh, retry um, the uh, Criterion Boring Hat. Ain't that a cool contraption? <laughs> I, tell you, I tell you what I'm working on. I'm warming that up. I'm going to make some small parts. But uh, I have this terrible problem with um, Allen wrenches, losing them, misplacing them. So uh, uh, another guy was mentioning that too that watches the channel. Uh, 
I, you know, I can't remember his name right now. Um, uh, well, anyway, this one I'm trying to do here is uh, uh, I, I took and cut um, an aluminum knob and I smacked it on this Allen wrench with a hammer. So maybe I won't lose it, right? I can find it. You know, it'll be somewhere where I can find it instead of lost. Now, the worst one is this uh, little boring head thing here. I'm still messing with this thing. I'm going to be dialing this thing in uh, a lot closer. But right here, it's got a, um, a little, it's written right there, it says lock. And then you have to get an Allen wrench in there to lock it right in there and uh this is the third one i've sawed off <laughs> they just disappear so i hammered a little uh piece of steel on it you know just uh, a remnant of metal and maybe i'll have a chance of not losing that one too <laughs> So that's part of the problems now. Uh, this uh, head requires special tools. It uh, requires a sawed-off Allen wrench. And then I found a, a, a bad uh, uh, old proto screwdriver. And uh, it's got an eighth-inch shank exactly. And it fits that eighth-inch hole right there. See? So that's how you adjust this thing. You loosen the... Loosen the uh, Allen set screw and then then adjust the scale, then tighten it. So anyway, I'm trying to solve multiple problems. Okay, I will be back.